What's happening, Miami? How are you? We're fall to June. We're Floridians, just from a different uh, part. Thank you. 
So there's some of this stuff that we've, uh, we've, we've done acoustic. And then there's some of this stuff, like this one, that we're just giving it to you pure and true, and we'll see how it shakes down. This one's called Curtain Call. Time. Who'd have thunk? <laughs> hey, if it's not rock and roll, you're not taking chances, right? We wrote this new one, and uh, we went up to Nashville and we recorded it with some pretty cool people at a pretty amazing place called Blackbird Studios. And uh, again, we've never done this acoustic, so let's get let's get weird. This one's called When the River Comes.
Look up to the east and the sky is when the waters rise a victory gets the moon. Us. You really like us. Once again, we're fall to June, y'all, and, and thank you so much for hanging out. And uh, for you online watching the streaming thing, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. We want to check out www.falltojune.com, and uh, obviously you're on rockrageradio.com, so we appreciate your, uh, your allegiance to that. Uh, this next one's our first single, and uh, still a fan favorite. It's called Delta Breakdown.
One more. All right. This is a bonus track for this particular set. Seems to be something about this song that people connect to. You know, there's sometimes in life when you see things from a distance and they're, they're gorgeous. And then you get up to them in person and you realize that there's, there's flaws and things that can really hurt you. And you just have to live with that choice, you know? You have to figure out, is it worth it? And sometimes it's not, and this song's about that. And it's, it's, uh, it's called Barbed Wire Trees. This is our last one. Against we're Fall to June, y'all. Thank you very much. Since it started I'm still pretending I never did you wrong You're so far away I am so close now What you need Is for me to stay on. Now here I stand Like you were gone, just so I could hold you like it was the last time. And it was.
Thanks very much, y'all. We're, we're fall to June. God bless you. Stick around. There's some great stuff happening tonight. Thank you. You guys have Whoa. just kicked major Shut ass on our yeah, show, yeah. and we so appreciate it. So, okay, John and I have some questions for you. Tell us. All right? Okay, so my first question is, hmm, all right, tattoos. What's your next tattoo that any of you are going to get? Yeah, I'm actually uh, I'm getting a frog and a raven. Why? Well, the raven's kind of our thing. It, it's, it symbolizes rebirth. Nice. Yeah, it. yeah. It's, uh, we did it uh, initially part of our graphics thing because I thought it was kind of cool. Right. And, and it turns out that the raven has a lot of significance. It really means a lot to us. You know, it's, it's very significant. It, it, yeah, it symbolizes a rebirth and, and process. Are you all getting it? Some of us talking about he can't. Yeah. Never when I joined the United States Marine Corps, she said, "Son, don't get her a tattoo." So, so, uh, so. Well, you know what? His mom was. I'm pretty. I'm pretty. I'm get a tattoo. I'm pretty enough, baby. I'm pretty enough. I'm good. Yeah. He doesn't need a tattoo. He's pretty enough. Are you all getting it? Yeah, I'm getting all of them. All of that. Yeah, all of that. JT? No. <laughs> oh. All right. A little earlier, we went ahead and started a conversation with the boys, and we were talking about energy. And I just wanted to go ahead and bounce that back to you, literally and figuratively, about how positive energy can come back and forth, and how when you're actually working with a crowd, how you can put the positive energy out, it'll come back, and you keep on doing that. How people not only remember how you feel, and what you do, and how we can like Tetris this entire like interview right now, but um, people remember how you make, how you make them feel and the energy that you put out. So can you go ahead on that? You know what? Science is science, and purity is purity, and we feel like we've we've gotten the best of both of those. When you put out good, you get back good, because that's what science makes happen with the ebb and flow. And uh, we we really try to be good people and put out good music and do it for the right reasons, and we feel like that's going to pay us back, and and our fan base proves that. Um, they're great people. Our fan base is, I can't tell you the kind of people that we deal with, but it, it just really yeah. incredible sure. positivity going on, and, and we're, we're blessed by that. And we feel like that's because we put it out there. Yep. Okay, I have my own super weird question. Okay, what color socks are you all wearing? Quick. White. White. Red. Red? Let's see. Oh, skin color. Okay. Black and green. Black. Black. Okay, they love black socks. Okay, so I do have a question since y'all are so super cool and I appreciate your music was amazing and especially since you've never done acoustic, right? This is your first yeah, acoustic first time. Live Yeah, show. first time. What the front door? Like, you guys kicked, I'm going to say it, you guys kicked <laughs> ass. Like, I have goosebumps right now. So, Y'all know each other, and this gentleman right here has been in a few bands that we all know, sure. like Fuel well, yeah, and Shine Don't. Guess? Fuel. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so, like, how did you all meet, and how did you get together? Luck of the draw. Luck of the draw. You're gonna say it. Oh, I'll give, you the, I'll give you a little rundown. So, me and this cat over here, we, we, we had a band back in the early 2000s, and the singer bailed, and we needed a singer. We went through a, a big cattle call for about a month, and the last person that they brought into the studio after th 30 days was him. And he killed it, and he became our singer. We went on to play a bunch of shows. We were in the studio, stuck in the studio for about two and a half years trying to get a record done. We got at each other's throats, so we went our separate ways. We needed a breather. Uh, what, ten, nine, seven. ten, seven years later, um, we got back together, and this is the result. Well, this is an amazing result. Yeah, it's, it's ridiculous, actually. I mean, I'm so happy that you guys are here, and I can't wait for you guys to be back again. But I think Don has one more question. What do you got, Don? Okay, well, let's see. Um, if you guys had a chance to go ahead and collaborate with anyone living or dead for a song, wow. what, wow. who would you, 
Who would you do? Individually <laughs> or as a band? <laughs> can we each answer? You can each answer if you'd like. Alive or dead, who would you collaborate with? Steve. Stevie Wonder. Oh, that would be amazing. Uh, Maynard. I have no idea. <laughs> we'll come back to him. The testicles of a goat. I would actually be interested to see how that would sound, actually. Uh, my first concert was Stevie Ray Vaughan, and that's why I'm here. That would be the guy. Okay. Last thing, um, and then I'll pass it back to her. Are there any charities or anything that you guys actively support that you want to do a shout-out to? I think that's going to come over to you. Uh, wounded Warriors, you know, if anybody has an opportunity, you know, our veterans, they need you. You know, they go up. Yeah, I'm a United States Marine. You know, they're, they're doing a job so that we can all sit here and enjoy ourselves. Man, don't overlook that, guys. You know, if you get an opportunity, reach out, help somebody out like that. that that'd be awesome. And we also support the uh, Jacksonville Fire and Rescue Department in honor of our fallen brother, uh, Captain Mark Stewart. We love that man. So. Yeah, awesome. Thank you. Junior Diabetes. I have goosebumps from all those causes. And, um, okay, the last question is, do you all have any freaky facts? My show on Friday is Freaky, freaky Fact Friday. Does anybody have a freaky fact they want to mm -hmm. share? I, I don't know if it's freaky or not, but I did think something. It goes, okay. It goes back to the tattoo question. All right, I'm we ready. We talked about the raven. We didn't talk about the frog. Let's talk about the frog. Uh, one of my philosophies as a man is uh, the frog. Okay. Frogs don't know how to jump backwards. Okay. They jump on it. No, they jump forward. A frog in nature only knows progression. So I want to get the frog because of that. It only knows how to move forward and look at the next lily pad. Wherever it's going to be, it's always going to be a, more, a forward step. That's and that's how they literally live is, is by jumping forward. That's awesome. I think Rock Rage ne Radio needs to take that. Positivity is not dead. Neither is rock and roll, folks. Right. Awesome. Woo. Anybody else have a freaky fact? Water is wet. <laughs> All right. That is really freaky. It's, a, it's the truth. Every time you stick your hand in it, you come out wet. Right. That's freaky. All right. Thank you guys so much. I think you, you kicked ass. I hope you will be on our show again. I'd love to. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you all.